When it comes to rap reflexes, showing off a car worth a year's tuition ranks at the top of the pack, even if you don't know how to drive a car. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside a ghost and hop up in a fan, no. I don't even drive. I don't even know how to drive. That's dead. But what about the flex of buying a multi-million dollar hypercar over the phone? Up and down a telecrib, me and like 10 hoes. Call from the cell phone, give me that Enzo. They send us a DM. Um, and then we send them a, a bill of sale and they send us a wire and they, they buy the car right off of Instagram. That's R.D. Whittington, CEO of Luxury Auto Group and the owner of the Wires Only Instagram account. You might have seen him there. He's the car club to dozens of notable figures, celebrities, and especially rappers. And he spoke with Genius to break down how he put some of these MCs behind the hottest cars today, beginning with Philadelphia's Lil Uzi Vert. So Uzi, I mean, is my brother. I've known Uzi for a very long time. I get a call. Uh, right before his 24th birthday. And he says, yo, I'm about to turn 24. What should I buy? And I'm like, man, save your money. You already have 20 cars. He goes, F that. I want a Bugatti. I went to tone on my job. Bugatti, that's 1.6 all stuck. Don't need no brakes, no plan, no stuff. Uzi loves to drive fast. And is one of RD's best customers. Uzi's like, listen, I want to buy another hypercar. What's that LaFerrari like? What you think of the LaFerrari? I'm ready to buy it, and you have it at like this is a good price, bro. Really good price. Try to Rory that bitch got no rules. Wait, what kind of Rory? Four fifty eight. Actually bought that long Ferrari from Drake. Yeah, and comfortable I sit. That manual Ferrari Italian some fly shit. And it's not always just the flex. Rappers buy cars for reasons just like you and me. Iggy Azalea and Cardi, they just had their first little one, and. Uh, so they needed a mom and dad SUV. So we had to hook them up with the Rolls truck. So they just bought a brand new Rolls truck because they needed somewhere to put the stroller and the baby seat. He's a car nut too. He's got a ton of cars. You drive a Lambo with some leg room. Girl, I'm waiting on you. Bring that bag home. And it doesn't stop there. Got ASAP Rocky a 488. A 40 ounce to chase it. That's just an understatement. I'm early to the party, but my Rari is the latest. The most expensive transaction in one single wire would definitely have to be Travis Scott. Cause you three for the keys, not the work, but the V. I can't tell you the exact number. I will tell you it was close to three and a half million bucks. Cars run throughout RD's life. His uncles, the Whittington brothers, won 24 hours at Le Mans back in 1979, the world's oldest car competition. The first big star I, I ever dealt with was Chris Brown. He always has three Lamborghinis at one time, you know, so that's his thing. And speed has no language. And Well was coming to LA. So he said, hey, I'm gonna hit you when I get to LA, let's link up. J Balvin, Ferrari La Ferrari, around three million bucks. You know, we started small, we started on our own, and we just gave it our all. And we've been able to work with some of the biggest stars in the world, so it feels great. Must be nice, right? <laughs> in the meantime, let us know what your favorite rapper car mentioned in the comments. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music from home. Peace.